Well, good morning, YouTube land out there, and welcome to my inspirational content. We are working on our 172nd day to this Bible challenge, and today we're going to read Deuteronomy 29. And without further ado, I'm going to jump right into it. Grab your Bibles, follow along with me. I'm drinking ice water this morning. Let me know in the comments what you all are drinking, and let's go ahead and get started. These are the words of the covenant which the Lord commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel in the land of Moab, beside the covenant which he made with them in Horab. And Moses called unto all Israel and said unto them, Ye have seen all that the Lord did before your eyes in the land of Egypt unto Pharaoh, and unto all his service, and unto all his land. The great temptations which thine eyes have seen, the signs and those great miracles. Yet the Lord has not given you an heart to perceive and eyes to see and ears to hear unto this day. And I have led you 40 years in the wilderness. Your clothes are not waxing old upon you and thy shoe is not waxing old upon thy foot. Ye have not eaten bread, neither have ye drunk wine or strong drink that ye might know that I am the Lord your God. And when ye came unto this place, Sihon the king of Hashbon and Og the king of Bashan came out against us unto battle, and we smote them. Amen. And we took their land and gave it for an inheritance unto the Reubenites and to the Gedonites and to the half-tribe of Manasseh. Keep therefore the words of this covenant and do them that ye may prosper in all that ye do. <clears throat> ye shall stand this day, all of you, before the Lord your God, your captains of your tribes, your elders and your officers, with all the men of Israel. I'm going to go on to the 11th verse. Your little ones, your wives, and thy stranger that is in thy camp, from the hewer of thy wood unto the drawer of thy water. May God add a blessing to the reading of this word. And a quick summary. <clears throat> the covenant is renewed. Israel's lack of understanding of God and his ways meant that the people needed constant reminders of the covenant's purpose, meaning, and requirements. Moses gave them such a reminder in this his farewell address to the nation. Acting as God's representative in the renewal of the covenant as he had done at the establishment of the covenant at Sinai. The renewed oath of allegiance that the people swore before entering Canaan was binding on future generations of Yahweh and the worthlessness of idols. The people stubbornly rejected Yahweh and worshipped other gods. The whole nation would be in danger of destruction. In judgment for their breaking the covenant, the land would be devastated and they would be driven from it in shame. But God is a fair God, right? No person knows everything, but each person must be obedient to whatever knowledge he or she has. The Israelites did not know all that God would do in the future, but they had his but they had his revealed will for them in the present in the form of the covenant law. And they had to be obedient to that. Amen. That's what they had to do. They had to be obedient. God knows we're not perfect. But he hold us accountable to strive to be obedient. Amen. It's so important to be obedient. And uh, you all enjoy your Wednesday. We are already in the middle of the week. Wow. Time is just flying and not wasting any time for anyone. Uh, God has blessed us to wake up and <clears throat> to have another new day of mercies. We can repent and ask God to forgive us for our sins and, and to cover us today. Help us to not commit the same sins over and over again. Amen. And um, if you have a prayer request, please make it known. Continue to pray for my father. I haven't said anything about him because 
Um, I know he's in God's hands, but every now and then I will say something. Amen. Um, please don't forget because I did ask you all to pray for him a while back. Just keep him on your prayer list. My my dad, keep him. Uh, I'm not going to say his name uh, for the sake of YouTube and everything, but just uh, just keep just keep my father in prayer. Amen. And also, um, if you all have an unspoken prayer request or anything you want to say, um, a testimony, something great, something little, but maybe you think it's fantastic, talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let us join in on your celebration because if it's little and fantastic, we want to know about it too. Amen. And have a great day. Like the video. Please don't forget to like the video. Bye.